so today I have a eyeshadow lovers tag that I was tagged in by the beautiful Becca's Beauty Journey I do believe formerly known as Becca's Beauty Channel and so here we go I got a list of questions and a stack of palettes to make us all go wild okay I don't really know if you're gonna go wild but um <clears throat> Okay, let's get into this. First one, palette I regret not buying. That is the Big Mama Pat palette. Uh, that's a Pat McGrath palette. I was trying to do no buy, which I ended up failing anyways. Um, this could be in my future, but I don't know. I'm trying to be good because that's still a big chunk of change at 78 I know it's cheaper than her other ones but I'm trying really hard to be good <laughs> and we know that's not easy for me don't mind my hair it is raining and it is nasty cold yucky humid out so this is the candy that you get today um the palette I re regret buying so, I wanted a fancy palette for so long. So, I got my NARS Extreme Effects palette. And this was $58. And it's not that I don't like it because it's beautiful. I mean, it's really stunning and I want to use it more. I regret spending $58 on it when it's really similar to a lot of stuff I have already. Um, I regret the price more than anything. So, you know, it is what it is. I do regret. I just got that um, I, I, I just got that I needed to be better or I thought I needed to be fancier than I am kind of feeling and I went on it on impulse and I think I could have got <laughs> some other palettes that are similar some different palettes for a cheaper or multiple palettes so it is what it is and I don't use it I've used it like once and that's horrible um, next one. Palette I haven't used as much as I thought I would. This is the Very Dirty, because I am very dirty, Tati Beauty Volume 1. I wanted this so bad for so long, and I finally got it for myself. And I think I have used it twice. And I don't really know why I haven't used it this much. Um, I mean, it's still beautiful. It really is still beautiful. I just don't know why I don't gravitate. Maybe be maybe now that it's more fall, I'll gravitate towards this more. I'm gonna put this down here. So. I will hopefully use it more. Like, it's gorgeous. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, look at it. It's so beautiful. I just don't know why I don't grab it. Oh, it really sucks the runes, ma'am. It sucks the runes. Suck, 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 I got Luna at my feet and Junior just chilling happily. Luna. I know you guys haven't seen this one in a while. It's a Luna Bee. She's so little. She's so little. And her claws are in me. Okay, mommy. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, good job. She's an asshole. She's a five pounds full of asshole. But she, I do love her. Um, palette, I have used more than I thought I would. Yes. 
This, of course, is a Violet Voss Coral Crush. I just love, 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 love the hell out of this palette. There's just so much stunning, stunningness to this. I can't get enough. I can't get enough of this fucking palette. I don't know why. I mean, I do have other coral palettes that I do love because I like coral. But this is extra magically yumlicious. Yeah, I know that's not a word, but it is in my head, so just go with it. I mean, I don't know. And it's so fucking beautiful. Like, I think, you know, there's some nice fall shades in here. I just love it. I just love it. I can't explain myself. I just do because I do. Because it is what it is. Um, right now I have on a new favor by the Beauty Bakery that I still love. I'm really shiny. I'm really shining to the stars. Um, my favorite half neutral, half color palette. I had to think a long time on this one because I wasn't 100% sure. And I'm going to go with the IBY Super Bloom. And I think this is half neutral, half color. This palette is fantabulous, and I have not even dipped into all the colors. I don't know why I swatched that color, because it's not going to show up great, because it's going to be similar to my skin tone. Um, but everything is great on here. It's great. We're in a great, perfect world. And bees fly to my buttocks, and I don't know what else. Let's try this one. I mean, look at this palette is just beautiful. And I think I'm going to re-pull some of my palettes out that I will actually probably use more in the fall, winter. Because I think that's a good idea. Like, even though these are some bright colors, there's still these beautiful plums, orange, um still so much that I can use out of this palette and I kind of just came up with that. Maybe I'll do a tag on what palettes you can use all year round. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure some shit out. Um, okay. Oh, the palette I bought for packaging. I have two. And these are palettes that I wanted for a long, long time. And these are both by Lunar Beauty. The Goddess Palette. I mean, do I really need to say any more? And, it's, sorry, the Greek Goddess Palette. And um, the Moon Spell that looks like the book. I put it in backwards. Don't judge me. I mean, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love these both. And then this is like embossed. Even everything he does is just stunning. Um, <clears throat> now, let's see. The palette, I like shimmer more than the mattes. This, I am actually going with Lori Mercier Hidden Gems. There's only two mattes and they are boring AF. I'm just going to put that out there. Boring AF. But the shimmers on these little bastards and I'm not doing good swipes right now, but that's okay. They're magical. They're magically delicious. Um. Oops. That one kind of got mixed. And I'm just trying to show you. What makes this 
so beautiful. So, shimmers 100% better than these two boring mattes. In my opinion. And that's what we're going for. So, Laura won this. Laura won this round. She won't. Now, now the palettes I like mattes more than the shimmers is going the pure Barbie. I don't know why I picked this exactly. Um. The shimmers are, they're not bad. The mattes are surprisingly good. This is probably the only um, only palette from Pure that I've tried and liked. They're all good. The mattes, uh, the shimmers aren't horrible, but the mattes are just really, really extra good. So I would say that the shimmers are great, but the mattes are just extra good in here, I think. And I, I think, I don't know. Don't judge me. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are? Don't judge me. <laughs> That's what I picked, and that was my choice okay um the palette that happily surprised me and i still fucking love i mean it's new but this is my first hank and henry palette that i have ever had god i really look like a scuzzball today any scuzzball anyways it's called sex talk and really i just like the name but bam oh <gasps> Look at this beautiful bastard. <sighs> Hold on, let me, let me show you why I was so happily surprised. I did not know what to honestly expect from Hank and Henry, just to be honest. Um, because, like, their eyeliners are, like, the only thing I've ever tried, and I hated them with a passion. But... these wonderful mother humpers right here these shades are so amazing and glorious and wonderful and I am so in love with this palette. It is, I, every single color goes on like a dream. There's a color in here that's the same tone. Well, it's lighter than my skin, so I can't show. But look at that. Look at that one on top that I kind of chunked out. I did that. But it's got a shift to it. I can't show you because I'm broken. This palette is unfucking believably hot smoking hot and I love it so much I think it is beautimous I need to get through a bunch that I'm working on so I can continue to dig in here and now so this the next one is the most interesting color story. So this is probably not the most interesting color story, but this was my first setup into this brand, and I absolutely fucking love them. Um, this is Lorella. This is the Sweet Valentine palette. And this is it. If you have never tried a Lorella palette, they are not expensive. They also have super great, um, this is getting a little old. They have super, super great mystery boxes. Um, they 
are just so good and I god damn I love this palette this is still one of my faves it's over a year old I mean is this the most amazing color story in the world no but especially when I got this I was beginning and just starting out and this was so easy and so beautiful and um you know you got your darker colors your lighter colors and everything in between and it just for me is still magical and i still love it so not the most unique color story in the world but it surprisingly <laughs> is perfect it's a perfect palette and Lorella products are just outstanding well Lorella eyeshadows are outstanding in my opinion I like them a lot so that concludes my eyeshadow lovers tag and a couple people that I want to tag on this is the beautiful one busy mama the beautiful Coda and Orion's Adventures, the beautiful Teresa TTT Beauty, and the fabulous Robin Closet. So, if you don't know any of these ladies, please check them out, and I hope they um, watch this video so they can participate in the tag. That's all I got. I hope you guys have a great day. Wash your hands. Wash your butts. Behave. Bye-bye.